Did you know that JavaScript wasn't even built to be a full programming language? In 1995, it was built in just 10 days. At first, it only handled tiny tasks in the browser, like making a button clickable. As websites grew, developers ran into a problem. Every browser ran JavaScript a little differently. That's where jQuery came in. It made it simple to write code that worked everywhere. And for years, it was the go-to tool for interactive websites. Then, in 2009, Node.js arrived. It let JavaScript run on servers, which is huge. But it introduced a new problem. Developers had no way to organize and share code. If you wanted to use someone's library, you had to copy and paste it manually. Updates would break projects, and bigger apps became chaotic very fast. NPM fixed this. It became the system for installing, sharing, and managing code safely. It also tracks versions, so your project doesn't break when someone else changes the code. Later, Yarn and PNPM made it even faster. Now there are so many JavaScript frameworks because developers find an issue with one existing framework and think, I can fix it. And then they build an entirely new framework. For the full story of how JavaScript became what we know it as, check out Jim's blog, where he covers all the drama, the tools, and the weird decisions. The link is in the comments. Go check it out and happy coding.